to drinking two gallons for peak week, like a gallon you feel thirsty. Yeah, exactly. I was doing the two gallons, my first gallon was going before like 9.30 in the morning. You always gotta make it like a game, like how fast can I drink this gallon? And then you start feeling almost sick, like your your stomach does that like gargling thing that- Extends. Well, one year I had to do three gallons and mom thought I was gonna drown. She was legit like worried that I was gonna drown. So we'll find out, I guess. You did three? I've never, yeah. I've never gone up to three. It was pretty ridiculous. I don't know if it makes any, I don't know. I didn't do it the next year. Can I get the knife? Oh. <laughs> Trying to kill me. Did I ever tell you that story? Mm -mm, but he did. Yeah. No, no. There you go. You really kept fishing your bra. <laughs> I did keep fish in my bra. Tough times when you're in peak week and you gotta you're gonna do whatever you need to. Yep. To go to a, a that life concert. balance thing. I had to go to a concert and I needed to eat fish all day, so in my bra. While Kevin's drinking beer and eating island noodles. I was waiting for you to say that. The island noodles. The island noodles. They weren't that good. They weren't worth standing in line for. When you're eating fish out of your bra, oh they're good. That yeah. Really good. Mm-hmm. And those are your two options. competition was in 2017. I actually just wanted to lose weight. I had no desire to do a fitness competition. I joined a 16 week competition prep because I just thought I would lose the weight I wanted and have the body I wanted and that would give me a goal at the end. It wasn't until after I actually competed that I fell in love with the sport and five years later here I am. It is kind of surreal to be a pro. Um, after my first competition, I placed fourth and fifth. I didn't even practice a T wall because I didn't think that I would place, but I knew at that competition that I would go forward and I would become a pro. So it took me a couple of years and I had a baby in between, but um, I was super excited to become a pro and I had my pro debut that same competition. I got fifth place, but I was so excited to be up there with these ladies that had amazing physiques. My personal fitness journey is 
my mental health. So if I can't get to the gym, I feel crazy. So I need that as my therapy. And, um, you know, I just, I try to move around my work schedule to accommodate everything. Uh, I'm really excited about the show. Um, I've met a lot of great contacts. I am really excited to put my own feel on, on an IPL show. I own a small business, so I'm really excited to have small businesses in the area included in the show. You know, it, it's been a lot trying to plan it all and get it all together, but it's coming together really nicely. And I'm just really excited for what we're about to experience. To first time competitors, I would absolutely say, stop comparing yourself to everyone you see on Instagram, to everyone you see on Facebook, to YouTube. Everybody has a different body. Everybody had a different starting point, And really it's about bettering yourself and having a better emotional and physical connection with yourself. You really just need to focus on what you're doing and your wins versus somebody else's. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. It is hard work when you have a small child or even a middle school, high school child. It's really hard to be able to give yourself that time and also your children. And I'm really sympathize with any any moms that, you know, struggle to find that time. Um, add your kids in it, you know? You can go for a jog with your child or take your kids to the park and they're riding their bike and you, you know, jog. Uh, if you're playing at the playground with your kid, get on the monkey bars and start trying to do pull-ups. You know, there's just different ways that you can incorporate your children instead of just going to the gym. I love the IPL. I love everything it stands for. I love that it's really body positive. You know, we're celebrating everybody. It's not just, um, you know, somebody who wins first place or pro. It's everybody in their journey. And I think IPL has a lot to offer. I'm on a cover of a magazine. I would have never had that opportunity anywhere else. It's just a great vibe overall. I was blown away when I found out that we were going to be on the cover of a magazine. I thought somebody had taken over Ben's Facebook and uh, like was lying to me. <laughs> that is true. I was like, what? Is this a scam? Yeah. Spam, spam, spam like scam? Yeah. Oh, it's awesome. She wasn't my wife. Uh, she was just the girl I was dating. Um, didn't really know a whole lot about it. Meal plans or uh, the difficulties or the dedication that has to go into it. You know, from the outside looking in, you're looking at it as a bikini contest or something, you know, lewd. I love Megan, so, you know, honestly sitting down going to the shows, supporting her, helping her put her costumes and, and outfits together, her fitness angel wings, uh, things like that. You start to see a lot more, you know, of what it takes to, to uh, do a competition and be successful at that. You get your pro card and things of that nature. My wife's very beautiful and some people would think, wow, how do you let your wife get on stage in a bikini? Do all, you know, well, she's awesome. That's it. 
She's uh, my Wonder Woman. I'll wear a costume later. <laughs> <laughs> You're very proud of her and at the same time, it's like a sigh of relief and you, you feel like you got to the finish line. And then- Psych. Psych, yeah, <laughs> going to Destin, Florida. <laughs> well, you know. You know, so. Yeah, so she's right back into another meal plan, and, you know, gearing up for the next one or, you know, deciding instead of doing a, doing a show, putting on a show. So. I just love it. I don't know what to say. <laughs> That's uh, what a partnership is. You know, support each other with uh, what you want to do. Kevin, when are you hitting the stage? Never. Destin, Florida. The last time I hit the stage was with the vigilantes. <laughs> playing the bass. The playing the bass. With a beer in his oh, yep. hand or at his feet or something. Yeah, I, I've, I've had plenty of stage time. But not, what about physique competition wise? <laughs> nah. Why not? Nah, I'll give you my twin brother's number. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he definitely will compete. I think you're gonna see a lot of new strong talent in the IPO world. Even though this is a start for many of them, I think they're gonna be sticking around for a while. And I think this is a start of our small but mighty show and I think we're gonna grow. And I think IPO Maryland's gonna be something really spectacular. Between uh, you know, the, the talent that will be hitting the stage and uh, the venue and you know, the whole package, I think. Hopefully it's something uh, that grows for years to come. You know, I'm just really excited for it to be here. You know, it was just a dream a year and a half ago and I just can't believe that now it's like here and we're really doing it.